So I want to answer the question, can dairy actually affect your hormones or not? Well, let's just take a look at what milk is. Milk is a product that is designed to feed a calf, a growing calf. It's loaded with a lot of different hormones, primarily estrogen, okay, and also IGF, different types of estrogen. IGF is a growth hormone, and so is estrogen. Now, the hormones in milk can target uh, the prostate, okay, the breast, the uterus, the ovary. When I was in practice, I found a high correlation between women coming in having fibroids and them consuming a lot of dairy. So you have milk, cream, half and half, sour cream, cream cheese, cheese itself, yogurt, butter. The fattier the dairy, the more hormones, okay? Now, I'm not against dairy, but some people are already estrogen dominant. They have hormonal imbalances. They may have a prostate enlargement. They may have cysts in the breast as fibrocystic breast, or they might have a problem in uterus or endometriosis, which is extra growth uh, tissue around the uterus, or they might have cysts in the ovaries or even polycystic ovarian syndrome as well. That's basically the condition where your androgens are too high because there are various cysts in the ovary stimulating that specific hormone. So if you have any of those, you definitely need to put dairy to the side for a while. But everyone else needs to realize that these hormones in the dairy can create an effect on our body. To minimize the damage, definitely go for organic dairy and grass-fed dairy if possible. At least with organic, you're not getting GMO-type feed. You're getting non-GMO uh, soybeans and, and corn. But if you're doing commercial milk, you're definitely getting the GMO as well. Now, I personally do a small amount of cheese every day. I make sure that it is both organic and grass-fed. And I also consume a lot of cruciferous food. If you consume cruciferous vegetables, it'll actually give you the anti-estrogenic effect and it'll help clean up the excess amount of estrogen that's in your, in your body. And lastly, uh, I would always tell my patients to try this experiment just for one week completely give up all of your dairy and just see how you feel. And a certain percentage of them would do very, very well, and other people would feel no difference. And that may give you a few clues to determine if you are sensitive to dairy or not. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you're liking this content, please subscribe now, and I will actually keep you updated on future videos.